On this episode of Takedown with Chris Hansen. Yes, you have to sit right over there. Come on. This aerospace engineering student just launched himself into one of my investigations. Just the one thing I ask, no ruin my life, please. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know what comes next. You know who I am. Yep. You know what I do. I'm investigating online child predators in the northernmost region of Michigan, an area known as the Upper Peninsula, or UP. This massive operation is the undertaking of Marquette County Sheriff Greg Zybert and involves numerous law enforcement agencies from around the state. Since starting the operation, the chatters have been busy fielding requests from men looking for sex with minors. But on this day, the man on the other end of the chat is 21-year-old Dylan. In the chats, he asks what services she will provide, and does she French kiss? The chatter right away says she's 15. He asks for a photo. Dylan again asks about her age, and he has a very particular request. And then he lies about his age saying he just turned 18. He asks if he should stop and get condoms. The chatter wants to know his name, and Dylan tells yet another lie, that his name is Jose. He then demands a video and acknowledges again she's underage. But that's not dissuading Dylan, or should I say Jose, to head over and meet with someone he thinks is an underage girl for sex. The sheriff's decoy acts as the lookout, relaying Dylan's movements as he approaches the house. Walking toward the house. One hand in pocket, one with keys. We've disguised her identity for her safety. Hi. Sorry, that door sticks and it's really weird. Very good. Yeah, we're, it's slowly getting worked on a little bit, so we're in the process of painting right now. Oh, really? And the heat's all messed up. So I wait in the wings, okay. listening in on their conversation. Um, I have a couple drinks here. <laughs> okay. Um, my phone's almost dead. I'm gonna run upstairs and throw it in the charger real fast. I'll be right back. Right. Is that a bomb? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you smoke? A little bit, yeah. I have a lighter upstairs. Do you want? I have some stuff in my car if you want to smoke. Oh, I already have stuff. Um, I'll grab my lighter real okay. fast. Yeah, something Hey, Kate, take your hands out of your pockets. Oh, he tries to head for the door, but I cut him off before he can get there. And right away, he knows exactly what's about to happen. No. Yes, you have to sit right over there. Come on. Sit, sit right over there, we'll talk about it. No, I don't want to. You have to. Well, you can do this. You can do this. One other thing is here. Hold on. There, well, there's some people gonna want to talk to you, Dylan. Hold on, yeah. Dylan. Okay, I need you to sit right over there. Hold on, I don't want the camera. Dylan, please. hold on. He's a pushy one though, and again tries to lead. Now the task force steps in and puts him in cuffs. No, 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 no. The tears start flowing, and the begging begins. I have a college life. degree. I have, I'm gonna get a college degree. Please. Dude, hey, don't worry about it, girl. That's the one thing I ask. No, ruin my life. Please. Oh, okay. Take Please. a deep breath Please. and relax, okay? Dude, stand up. Did you have something wrong? No, I'm just scared. You're okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hey. I'm scared. I have such a promising thing. Yeah, okay. I messed it all up. Hey, you're all right. You're, you're safe. You're, you're safe. Right. It's okay. We'll help you. Okay. All right. You're all right. You're okay. You're okay. Dylan finally calms down, at least enough for the deputies to sit him on the couch. Okay. No, we're going to sit you on the couch, man. Now it's time for me to have a chat with Dylan. Dylan, just help me to understand what was going on here, how you ended up here. 